Hi everybody! So, I have to make an apology and I'm really, really sorry. But I wasn't aware of it until my friend uh, Keith Reynolds pointed it out to me. So thank you very much, Keith. I was blithely carrying on and I realised that I'd done this. And I thought, oh dear, oh, that would be disappointing for anybody who's going to actually try and build one of these coils. So, really, really sorry about it and I'm going to correct it now. And in order to correct it, you have to think about what's happening with these magnets. So I've glued some magnets onto a wooden base because I'm preparing to make the generator and they're arranged in north, south, north, south, north, south. Now when we wind the Foul Harbour coil, of course what we do, is we begin here and go to here. By the time we're wrapping around in that direction, we get to here, then it will reach there. And so we've got a bundle of wires over that uh, magnet like that and of course they move around changing from north to south and that's how it works basically. Equally though there's another bundle of wires right next to it moving from south to north. So this one's going north to south that one's going south to north and of course they're uh, completely opposite uh, and what will happen is they'll fight each other and you'll get nothing out. So you might have noticed well uh, perhaps not when I hold up the coil for you, there were in fact four wires coming out and that's actually kind of important because when you begin your wrapping, then you start at there and you wrap it until you get there and it becomes there. And then of course we jump to here and we wrap it and we continue going around in that direction. And that creates one space that will cover going north to south and there won't be a south to north. So if you finished there when it was that arrangement and you can do that really easily because we drew the magnets on the piece of plexiglass and you can see where the magnet starts and finishes. If you'd finished your coil there everything would be hunky-dory super brill ace. But of course we carried on and filled that entire gap and that creates a problem. The problem it creates is they're magnetically 180 degrees apart and so they'll cancel each other. And um, what you do is, when you finish winding that bit, you start a new piece of wire and continue winding your coil, so you'll have two bits of wire sticking out here. And of course at the other end, where you started it, you'll have another two bits of wire sticking out. So you're going to have four bits of wire sticking out. So you start your first winding by starting here, winding here, following the pattern all the way around. Bring that piece of wire out get a new piece of wire and then carry on filling it so you've got your single coil but you have effectively centre tapped that coil. Now what you do is you take one end from one coil and the other end from the other coil and you join up the opposite ends. Now it's really easy to find out which ends they are, you do is just get a magnet and run it over. If you've got a clip on it and it doesn't generate anything you've clipped the wrong ones together. So you check it for continuity to make sure you've got the right coils. Clip two ends together, run a magnet over it, make sure it's generating something, in which case you're going to be fine. And you just fasten those two together. So when I fasten those two together, I've got my two wires coming out. And now what I've done is I've reversed one of them so that when it comes from south to north, and this is going north to south, instead of fighting it, it adds and I didn't talk about that and as I say I'm really really sorry about that and um, hopefully that helps. Thank you very much Keith for pointing that out and again I'm really sorry about it. There are a couple of other things that have come up since I did that video. People talking about this wire, this Litz wire. <laughs> Litz wire is used for high frequency applications. That doesn't mean we're expecting high frequency from this. We're not using it for that reason. We're using it because we can wind 20, 40, 50 coils all in one go instead of having to go round and round and round and round. We're effectively winding the coils in series as separate wires, but then winding all those 50 coils together in parallel because we're soldering the end of the Litz wire together. So remember, series and parallel. One will increase uh, voltage and one will increase ampage. So when we wire them in series, we get an increase in voltage. When we wind them in parallel, we get an increase in ampage. So this will produce a lower voltage, but a higher ampage than if you just went round and round and round and round. It's quicker 
is the only reason that we did it that way. And it must be Litz wire because you have to have it separated. Otherwise, you're effectively, if you use standard wire, you might as well use a, a, a well, copper pipe because you're effectively winding only one wire. With Litz wire, you're effectively winding 50 in one go that you're then going to connect up in parallel to get an improvement in the ampage as opposed to an improvement in the voltage, which is what you get when you wind them individually going round. So you can make a choice. You can um, spend the time wiring, uh, winding those 50 coils if you want, in which case you'll get a super voltage out of it. Or you can use a Litz wire very quick, join them in parallel, and you'll get much more ampage capability out of it. That, that's the choice, but we're, we're not using Litz wire for its high frequency, and I'm expecting a high frequency out of uh, a wind turbine. I mean, it's, you know, at best it's going to be, what, 600 RPM, so you're not going to need the Litz wire for that. It has to be Litz wire because standard wire is not insulated. So I thought I'd point those out because I've read through the comments, uh, and there were a few comments on that, and the apology was absolutely needed, and I thought I'd just point out Litz wire is not being used for its high frequency properties. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe and forgive me for not covering that part of it.